Papers at four show the potential impact of a new ticket tax that American Family Field. The state Senate considering the idea as part of the Brewers funding bill. 12 News political director Matt Smith is live in the newsroom. Matt, a deal could hinge on a tax. Kristen, a tax the Brewers do not want added to games, but one a growing number of lawmakers in the Senate seem to be backing to get a deal across the finish line. The nonpartisan legislative fiscal bureau says a ticket tax between three and six percent, including non game and game events, could generate anywhere between $3.2 million and $6.5 million a year. That would reduce the state's overall burden, an idea the Senate president first revealed recently on Upfront. You would like game events as I well. I would actually, my personal preference, this is not the position of the caucus, is that I think every ticket, because anybody walking in there is using the facility, I'd like to see a ticket tax. Well, I understand that the brewers don't want any um, ticket tax on their games, but the vast majority of events that happen uh, at Miller Park, at uh, AmFam Field are um, brewers' games. So, um, you know, if they're willing to make up more of the contribution, then I think that's reasonable. A deal that didn't include a ticket tax already passed the assembly. If the Senate would add one, it would need to again be approved by the assembly before heading to the governor, Kristen. And Matt, what would this look like as far as the cost to an average ticket? So take your average ticket price, let's say about $32. It would increase that ticket price anywhere between $1 and $2 per ticket. All right, political director Matt Smith live in the newsroom. Thank you.